One of the interesting, very interesting things that's happening now, this time of year, is that it's almost Pesach, right? You have to figure the Jews went through slavery it's for 86 very, very harsh years. That's a whole generation, two generations. People were born into slavery and they suffered. They worked. If you say like dogs, it, it's easier than what the Jews had to suffer in Egypt. They were, they were played with by the Egyptians. And the idea behind it was that Hashem promised Avraham, your children will be wayfarers in a different country. And at the end, they will go out with a large possessions, with a lot of possessions. When you think about what happened there, they suffered. They suffered terribly. And uh, Hashem sent 10 plagues upon Egypt. Dam, Tzvardea, Kinim, blood, frogs, you know, lice, and so on. There were 10 plagues that afflicted the Egyptians. And then they finally agreed to set their slaves free. Right? Now, the Medjur says, that Egypt was such a fortified country that no slave, not one slave, ever escaped from Egypt. Not one slave. And here, in one day, a few million people left. In front of all the Egyptians, they had nothing to say about it, left. And they went out, and they went out with a lot of possessions, the major says, that there wasn't a Jew who left Egypt who didn't have at least 90 mules carrying their treasures. Every Jew, right, a few million people, they left with mules carrying their treasures. Each one had 90. Can you imagine how many mules, how many donkeys there are in the world, right? This is what happened. Let's take a look at it from our viewpoint today. Egypt, we're leaving Egypt, Mitzrayim, right? The Medrash says that the word for Egypt, Mitzrayim, is every exile that the Jew went through is called Mitzrayim, from the word Mitzar, from something that is uh, uh, straight, that is closed. It's very difficult to escape from there. Any suffering that a Jew goes through is called Mitzrayim. But at the end, we all left with possessions. We all had, the Jews had plenty of possessions, they had plenty of, of payments, plenty of payments that would do them, and they got it. And any time there is suffering, any time, the suffering is meant to prepare the way for us to have the salvation and the great amount of possessions. The prophets, when they speak about uh, the future, future redemption, they speak about every person having tremendous wealth, tremendous wealth with uh, precious stones, gold, silver, Anything you want, I mean, all this, Bill Gates is considered a very wealthy person. His wealth will be nothing compared to the wealth that the Jews will have when Mashiach comes, right? This is all a prelude to salvation. All the suffering that we're going through now, you can look at it as suffering. It is. <laughs> it's very difficult, very difficult to go through. At the same time, it's preparing you for a great salvation that will come afterwards, all right? And Hashem should help that we should learn to look at the good points. Egypt, well, we left. The night of, of Pesach, 
The Jews stayed inside their house. They were quarantined. They could not leave their house. They had to eat the Pesach, that is Paschal lamb, the matzah, the bitter herbs. They had to eat it in quarantine. But when they left, they left absolute freedom. A few million people left in one shot. They, and they went through a week going through the desert and they came to the Red Sea, the Sea of Reeds. And they were told, we have to cross the sea. How are you gonna cross the sea? It's impossible. Hashem made it possible. Hashem opened the waters and they walked across. This is what happened. And when you realize that Hashem is in charge of all the uh, nature, of all the things that we have, Hashem could open the sea for us too and bring us, number one, a salvation from this plague. And He can bring us all the riches and all the wealth that is due to us. And it's due to us. It's coming to us. That's what the prophet said. Because we went through this exile with belief in Hashem. So that's what we have to do. We have to now strengthen ourselves with uh, faith in Hashem and in Yitzhah Hashem, God willing, everything will turn out right.